again. I'd like to continue the discussion of this uh, EN side menu view controller thing. And in the last um, video, I set up the view controller. And it currently looks like this. You know, we've got the view controller here. This is just a default view. And then if you swipe, you know, the the view comes in. And what I'd like to do is um, add a button up here that hides and shows the side menu. So to do that, um, I'm going to start in storyboard here. And I'm going to drag a button into the view here. So I'm going to find um, the bar button item here and drag it into the view. Now understand that this is a view that's being shown in the view controller, right? So it kind of carries this navigation item with its button into the view controller. So when this view goes away, then it's going to take this navigation item with it. it. The other, you know, all the views don't inherit this. This this navigation item and the button belong to this view. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the, the button in here. And we can set the... Um, the um, the label for this you know you could choose one off the menu here um, or maybe I'll just set it to a custom label you can type in anything you want maybe I'll type in menu how about that right and we could use a picture here too um, you know I just don't have an image but we could put an image in there also they have an image option you can do that here right so uh, so now what we're gonna do we're gonna add um, some code to this so essentially we need a an IB action for this button. So we've already got this view already has a view controller file, which is view controller. So let's open that in the assistant editor. So I'll, I'll option click on it. And here's the code. And I'll make a little space here. Right? And then I'm going to control key, hold the control key and drag into the view. And this little thing pops up and I'll choose action from the menu here. I'm going to switch this to UI bar button item and then we'll call this um, menu button tapped. Okay and there we go. So there's our menu button tapped and we can close the assistant editor and then edit view controller again so there you can see the code a little better. And then I think what we want to do is we just want to type in toggle side menu view. Okay, so this is sort of a, you know, a global function that, that the EN side menu thing adds. So, so this adds this global function that we can call pretty much from anywhere, anytime we want to hide and show the menu. So, uh, so we'll put this here and then we'll test our project again. Okay, so there's our button. And when I click it, the menu shows up. And if I click it again, the menu goes away. So there we go. Um, so that was pretty easy, right? Let's add another view. And we'll talk about how we're going to set that view up just like the first view. So I'm going to go to Storyboard again. And I'll create a new view controller. So I'm going to grab a uh, view controller here and drag it into my Storyboard. And I'll put it over here. And uh, maybe we'll add a label to it so we can label it. We'll know which view this is. I'll call this second view controller. And I want to have a, um, I want to add a navigation item up here just like this one. Okay. So this is not obvious here, but uh, essentially to have the navigation item and the bar button item, you need to first add a navigation item and then add a bar button item. But you'll notice I just drag the navigation item in there and it doesn't appear, right? So here's what's going on. If we open up the sidebar here, you'll see that this view controller, which we're looking at here, has the label second view and it also has the navigation item but it's not visible right so that's kind of a little strange right so 
here's what's happening, right? The view gets to determine like how it displays its nav bar, and it doesn't always want to display the nav bar. You know, you have the choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click on the navigation controller up here so it's got the blue outline, and then we'll see the options here. And you can see there's the properties we have, you know, size and orientation and status bar. And then this property here that says top bar. So this is what hides and shows this thing at the top here. So it says inferred right now, and that means kind of like, you know, leave it up to the view to decide whether it should show that or not. And since it's not part of a navigation controller, it doesn't show the bar. So, um, you know, the, the view just doesn't know that it's going to be part of a navigation controller. We know it's going to be part of the navigation controller, but it's not connected in Storyboard. So it's kind of thinking like, hey, I don't need to show the bar because I'm not part of the navigation scheme. So anyway, I'm going to click on the menu here. You can choose pretty much anything off this menu. Right, and this will determine how the bar displays too. So I'm going to choose the first one, translucent navigation bar, and then it'll match the one that we have over here. There we go. So there, now I'm seeing the navigation item, and I can click on it, and you can see it's selected here. So now I can grab my UI bar button item and drop it on the left side, and we'll call it menu. So now these two are pretty much set up the same way. Um, what I want to do now is give this guy his own view controller file. So let's go Command N, make a new file, iOS source, Cocoa Touch class. I'll click Next. Let's make this a UI view controller. And then I'll name it Second View Controller. And then I'll click Next, save it to my folder. And let's go back to storyboard. Okay, so I've created a new view controller file called second view controller, and I want it to be the view controller for this view. So I'll click on the view, go to the um, identity inspector, and we'll type second view controller into the, the class field here. And hit return to make sure it takes it, okay? Okay, so we're going to pull these two views up with our navigation, our sidebar navigation over here. And we're going to have to do that with code. So, you know, we won't do it with a segue in Storyboard. So to make that work, um, each one of these views needs to have a Storyboard ID. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the class name and paste it into the Storyboard ID here like that. So that's second view controller and then I'll go to the first one and this guy's called view controller so let's copy that and paste it into the storyboard ID okay so here you can see this guy's second his storyboard ID is second view controller and his first the first one his storyboard ID is view controller okay so now we're set so to get these to show up we're gonna do this we're going to go to the class that mans the, um, the menu, right? And uh, actually, you know, before we do that, let me remember that I need to, I'll need to add the toggle menu code to this button. This one has it, but this one doesn't have it yet. Let's make sure that guy has it. So let's edit the second view controller. And then you can see this is the default code they gave me. And I'll, you know, I'll option click on storyboard to open it up in the, uh, in the, um, the assistant editor. And what I want to do is control drag from the button into my view here. Let me make sure I got this. Oh, wait, that's the wrong view controller. It's this one, right? So no wonder it didn't work. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now it's working, right? So I'll drag this in here. Let's set the connection to action. We'll set the type to UI bar button. And then we'll say, you know, menu button tapped. It can be just like the last one. And then we'll call toggle side menu. And there we go. So now we got to get 
you know, our, our view controller to show these other views. And we could make a third view too. Um, I'm going to go into um, menu table view controller. So this is the view controller for the sidebar menu or the side menu. So what we want to do is we want to add a menu here. I'm going to put it down here under this mark for table view source or table view data source. Let's type in table view and the method I want is did select row at index path. So this method, um, it, uh, you know, it, it's called on when you tap on a row in the table view. So when you select a row and um, it tells you the index path of the row that you, you selected. So, you know, index path has a property called row and that's the row number. So what we want to do is we want to, um, we want to get storyboard first just like we did in the side menu controller, right? So we're going to use this storyboard to instantiate new view controllers. So in uh, the menu table view controller here, we're going to make a reference to storyboard, Let's say UI storyboard, You know, we're going to just do the same code we did before. Name is main. Bundle is nil. Next, we're going to make another variable called destination view controller. And uh, actually, this is going to be type um, UI view controller. Right? So we're just going to make a variable for this, and then we're going to use a if statement to figure out, you know, which which view controller to create. And you could do this with a switch statement too. I just I just did it with the if here just to make things simple. So you know, if this is row number one, which is actually the second button on the menu, okay. So if it's the second button. I'm going to say, you know, destination view controller equals storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier. And my identifier is going to be second view controller, right? So that's the, that's this uh, second view controller, this guy right here. Let me make a little more room here. And then I'm going to say as second view controller. Okay, and then I gotta unwrap that one with the uh, with the exclamation point. And then I'm going to put an else statement in here, and this will be our you know our alternate choice right here. And in this case, we'll say destination view controller equals storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier and it's going to be view controller like this okay so you know what's going on well we got a reference to storyboard a variable to hold the destination view controller that's the view controller that we're going to create when you tap a row on the you know one of the rows right and then we're going to pick which one we choose or or which one we want to create. And if it's row one, we're going to pick second view controller. And if it's the other row, row zero or, or row two or whatever, it's going to do this view controller. We could add another if else statement in here to pick up the other view controllers. So at the bottom here, now we're going to actually add the view controller. And to get the view controller to work, we got to add it to the navigation controller, right? So what we need to do is we need to call on side menu controller dot uh, side menu or no no uh, set set content view controller and then our content view controller is going to be that destination view controller that we just created and there we go I think I think that's about it so uh, let me get the uh, sidebar back here and we'll uh, we'll test it out
And so here's my menu, and I'll click on Second View Controller, and there's Second View Controller. And then I'll tap, and there's First View Controller, right? So there's more we can do with this, but this is just the basic concept there, right? So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that helps you out.